Dixie defends the goal to our right. Max Legacy to go to the wire left, and the puck is dropped underway. Here is Fortier to Barre Boulay, shoots, fought off by Subban. It comes to Pilot, pass across, one-timer, right arm save made, rebound is cleared aside out of the air by Myers, and a save made by Legacy, and a push and a shove coming. It's Carlisle and Picard wrestling each other right now. Pulls it back to the point, Radish shoots, save, rebound, loose, under the stick of Dumont into the corner. It's to Pilot, walks the line. And now shoots, blocked, rebound, score, Prow. As Ethan Prow buries the puck in front of the goal, 11-18 to go in the opening period. And the Amherst take the one nothing lead. Now the Crunch cannot catch a break. Amherst on the power play, leading one to nothing. Here's a pass in front, Murray shoots and scores. A power play goal for Murray, and the Amherst lead it 2 nothing. 9-22 to go in the opening period. And so Rochester with two first period goals. This one a puck out right to Breton. Amherst gave the line onside. Prow shoots and scores. Ethan Prow with his second of the night, and it's 3 nothing. Amherst with 3.06 to go in the first period. As Prow rings it off the post, it in. And the Amherst have opened up a three goal first period lead. 2020 2021. Here's a long shot, a save, and a collision in the crease, and a takedown by Jones. Oh, it was Michael Mersch who came over and rumbled into the goaltender. That draws the huge crowd. And Mersch and Jones still trying to get after each other. Top of the right circle, throws it out in front. Ryfer shoots, scores! The power play goal for the Crunch. Tipped off of maybe Sean Elliman out in front of the goal. And the Crunch trying to get on the board. It's a 3 1 Amherst lead. Up to the left point, left wing now for Murray. The Crunch. With a chance out in front, what a save by LaFontaine on Rusek. Hey, they trail three to one. Barry Boulay, a one-timer, knocked down. Rebound chance blocked by Bartkowski. Davies is in, Davies to Bjork, Bjork to the goal, and it's along the line, it stayed out. They poke for it, LaFontaine trying to stay strong. It's still free, top of the crease, pulled out of there by Kepke. He flips it back to Smith, gets down low, he's got room, he shoots, and a save. Subban, Sean Day follows up, another save, rebound attempt, oh, a third save by Subban on Smith. Linesman hands it off, we're ready to go, third period underway. Finley with possession, pass up to Day, right wing Radish. He sends it toward the front, tip, score! 18 seconds into the third period, and here we go. Jack Finley on the tip, and it's a 3-2 game. He's got options now. Nice pass. Barry Boulay shoots. Save by Subban. It's kept alive with the skate of Gonsalves. A wrap attempt. Knocked down in front. Loose puck. Save by Subban. Smith and Gonsalves go to work. Simon Reifers on the ice now for the crunch. Here's Smith. A save. The rebound. Score! And this game is tied. 8.55 left in the third period. Jamel Smith. On the second effort, it's a 3-3 game. In, throws it across, Davies has space, shoots, scores. Jeremy Davies and the Amherst reclaim the lead with 6.20 to go on the third. A counterattack up ice, and the third goal from a defenseman tonight for the Amherst, and they reclaim the lead, it's 4-3. Carries in with speed, Reifers, shoots, same rebound, oh, it's cleared out of there. And the Crunch run out of time tonight. The Amherst win it, 4-3. And then a late hit there by Bartkowski on Smith, and we've got a massive scrum brewing at the end of this game. Dumont and Byro square off, Radish going after Ciccone, and oh, look out. And now we got the goaltenders involved, it's so bad, and it's LaFontaine going after each other. Mass off. Goalies looking to square off the line and doing everything they can to, to stop that. 